Hey guys, what's going on? I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the containers. We have all our cute little um, 21 day fix containers. They're very, very exciting, very fun, makes learning easy and fun, okay? But I just wanna let you know that this is day two. It's okay if you're getting frustrated, it's okay if you're trying to make things work and not quite grasping what's going on. Understandable, we've all been there, but let me just let you know, after this week is over, you're gonna have a totally different idea of how this works. It's all gonna kinda of mesh, you're gonna kinda of understand it a lot better, and you'll be able to, especially over the three week, the 21 day period, by day 21, you're, you're gonna be a pro at it, okay? So, so it's okay to be frustrated right now, it's okay to have questions. Um, don't get mad, don't give up. This is, this is what we're here for, we're here to talk to you about this and explain all this stuff for you um, and to help you get through this part of it, okay? So, we have your reds, this is your proteins, your meats and fish and um, things like that. We have your green for veggies, purple for fruits. Yellow is your carbs, things like rice, quinoa, pasta, oatmeal, things like that. We have your blue for your healthy fats, such as nuts, um, hummus, I believe, avocado, things like that go in your blue container. We have your little orange container, it's my favorite because it's so little and cute. Um, but your seeds and dressings go in here, okay? So, um, some of you are confused about how to portion these out or how to ration these out throughout the day. What I did when I first started this portion control is I looked at my normal meal plan. Okay, what do I usually have for breakfast? What do I usually have for lunch and dinner? Okay, I usually have a protein for breakfast or two. I have eggs, okay? I usually have eggs and sometimes I have some turkey bacon. For lunch, I can get away with not having a protein, but if I do, it's usually, usually like a chicken or something like that. And for dinner, I'll have a protein, okay? Um, possibly two. My Shakeology is a daily for me. Um, with the portion control and what we're doing here, I use it more of a snack because I use water instead of um, almond milk. And um, I'll get into that in a second. So that Shakeology is considered a protein. So just a heads up on that. So when you're rational or when you're figuring out what you usually eat, I want you to, that's how I want you to space out your food. So if you usually have oatmeal, okay, oatmeal for breakfast, <clears throat> that counts as a carb. However many yellow containers you're allowed to have, your oatmeal is gonna be, that's, you're, you're gonna have one yellow container for breakfast, okay? So that leaves you, let's say you have two yellow containers for the day, you just use one of them for breakfast and you can use another one for maybe dinner or lunch or something like that if you have um, a meal with a uh, yam, okay, or baked potato or something like that. That can be your carb. Or if you have rice or quinoa or something for dinner, that can be your other carb. So if you have two yellow containers um, and you're an oatmeal eater for breakfast, you can have one for breakfast and one for dinner, okay? Uh, veggies, you can have a ton of these. I think I can have three veggies um, in my category. So I will have half a green. I only have half a green for breakfast because I'll stick some um, mushrooms, peppers, and ala, or olives, ugh, onions in my eggs and stuff like that. So that counts as a, a veggie, but I only do half a cup or half, half of one of these. So that still leaves me with two and a half greens for the rest of the day. I'll usually use the majority of my green for like a lunch if I have a salad. Um, and then I'll use the other half for dinner. So I'll take half of it for breakfast, two for lunch, and half for dinner, okay? So that's my three green containers. Um, like I said, the red, I'll have eggs and maybe bacon. That's two red containers. I'm allowed four of these a day. So I'll have two for breakfast. Maybe I'll probably, you know, I count my Shakeology as one. So I'll have my Shakeology so that's either a snack or lunch or whatever category, whatever meal you wanna stick that in. That, so that would count as three because I had two for breakfast, one for lunch, and then I'll probably have a piece of chicken or something for dinner. So that counts as my fourth. Um, the fruits, I like to space out. I am allowed two fruits a day. I'm not positive. I can't remember if it's one or two. But this is what I do. I will take, instead of having a whole container of fruit in the morning with my eggs, I'll take a half of an apple, okay, or half an orange. So that's only half a fruit, which gives me the other half for later. And... I used to get kind of upset about that because I love my fruit. Everybody loves their fruit. It's sweet. Um, something that, a little trick that I've learned, when I have my half of an apple, I will slice it into really thin pieces because it's going to be the same amount of bites, and it's actually psychological. It's the same amount of bites for me with the thin slices as if I, as it were, if I were to take the whole apple and um, do it into thick slices. 
So I just take my half apple, I slice it in really thin slices so my brain thinks I'm eating more but I'm still only getting half that apple. Do I make sense here, I hope? Okay, so that's what I do with my purple. I always space it out. I never have one whole portion at one time. I will space it out. Uh, seeds and dressings. This will go on my salad, okay? So if I have a salad for lunch, I will have this um, on my salad. And I'm okay actually having only half of it. So I can have half of this little container and half seeds because I'm only allowed one of these containers, I believe. I'm so sorry I don't have my thing in front of me. I still actually need my guide sometimes. So um, that's what I do with seeds and dressings. Now, we also have your your nut butters and your oils. Now that does not come with the container, okay? That is a teaspoon, I believe. So when you, I used to have a big problem with this and you guys probably all know I'm a peanut butter freak. I love peanut butter. When I would make my Shakeology, I would put what I assumed was two tablespoons, it was probably more like four, seriously, into my shake and then I'd take a big spoonful and I'd eat it. Ugh, that's so bad. So when I got onto this portion control with these containers, I, um, I learned that I'm only allowed one teaspoon of peanut butter in my Shakeology. Well, two teaspoons a day of this, of, you know, nut butters or oils, but I needed the oil for my eggs in the morning. So I was only left with one teaspoon left for my Shakeology, for my peanut butter. So I tried my Shakeology with peanut butter, one teaspoon, and I can tell you that it tasted exactly the same. And within three weeks, I lost five pounds doing this portion control. And I can almost guarantee you so much of that was from my lack of peanut butter. I would eat peanut butter all the time. So imagine all, yes, it's a healthy fat. Yes, it's good. But imagine all that stuff going in me when I'm only allowed just a small portion. I was like, quadrupling it some 10 times. I was doing things so many, ugh, I was taking so much peanut butter in. And oil, like you only need a little bit of oil when you make your eggs or when you saute things. You just need a tiny bit just to wet the pan a little bit. So you don't need these gobs of oil. And I use coconut oil, by the way, no vegetable oil for me. Um, so anyways, that's your containers. I did wanna give you a little bit of, um, talk about little treats and things. Um, I know that you guys know you're allowed, well, hopefully you know, you're allowed to treat yourself, okay? If you want, if you're a wine drinker, you are allowed one container of wine, one yellow container of, of wine, uh, I believe it's three times a week. Now that will count as your carb though. So if you are allowed two carbs a day and you want a, a, a container of wine or a glass of wine with dinner, take away your yam or your rice or your quinoa or whatever, okay? Um, also, if you want some chocolate or M&Ms or something like that, you can fill in this, you can fill up this little container with chocolate or some sort of sweets, and, but that's going to count as a carb. So it's, you're going to use this to measure it, but it's going to count as one of these, okay? I hope that's not too confusing. I believe, I know in the Insanity Max portion control, it's one ounce of chocolate. So one ounce of chocolate equals one yellow container, okay, if that helps. And also, one more thing, Shakeology drinkers, if you're used to the almond milk or whatever, um, this portion plan does not really allow almond milk or anything like that into the plan, so, except three times a week, okay? So if you want, if you love your Shakeology with almond milk, you want to, and you wanna treat yourself three times a week, you can do that, it, it counts as a yellow, okay? so. Three times a week, I do enjoy my Shakeology with almond milk. I like it better with almond milk. It's delicious with water, but I like it better with almond milk. So I will treat myself three times a week with eight ounces of almond milk, and that counts as one of my carbs, okay? So again, if you're having oatmeal for breakfast um, and Shakeology with almond milk Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, that is my second carb, okay? All right, I hope I broke that down enough. Um, for all of you veteran 21 day fixers, I am just starting this portion control. So if I have said anything that is misleading or is not correct, please correct me. Um, like I said, I'm just beginning and this is what I've grasped out of this whole portion control idea here, which is absolutely amazing. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Again, it's day two. It's gonna get, it's gonna get easier, I promise you. It's gonna get easier. So keep going and 
I'm very excited for you guys. If you have any other questions, post them below and we will answer all of them. Okay guys, talk to you later. Bye.